now I'm going to share with all of you um, another analysis we did for a um, manufacturing company. So um, here basically um, we're seeing um, again a dashboard where um, we have information about their production, their machine downtimes, on the the quality tests uh, they realize. So we can see the progress of the production um, during a certain period of time. We can see how it varies uh, during different dates. We can see the top manufactured products. Uh, we can see also the downtime um, progress. Um, we can see what are those machines that uh, you know stops uh, the most, um, and based on that, um, have some some analysis. We can see also the test. Uh, progress and the percentage of tests by by operation. Okay, um, now um, one of the main capabilities um, SAP Analytics Cloud has is the Smart Insight uh, feature. So here I can uh, have a Smart Insight by variance or by data point. Here I'm going to select data point. And um, we're seeing what are the top contributors um, to that specific indicator. Um, so here uh, I can see how it has changed uh, during the time. Um, for example, we can see what are the top um, format that is produced, um, what is that um, material type that um, you know, contributes the most um, to our production. So um, as you see, that information, I didn't have it um, only uh, with my indicator, but once I run it, I, I can have like a whole view of, of, my, of my company behavior. Um, now I just jump to, to a more detailed information about <clears throat> the production. Now I can also have indicators about the, the first class uh, products that I produce, the second class products, I can have some filters, I can filter the information by product group. Uh, within the product group, I can have the, the names of the references. Um, I can see also the, the performance of the production um, over the time. I can also filter um, my information by clicking on, on one of the items so that I'm seeing the information by second class uh, production um, and it's as you see it, it's very easy to navigate uh, through the, this dashboard. Um, here we are seeing also a, um, a smart insight so we're seeing um, the top contributor for the product size so what are the material that is most used uh, where is the specific product um, most produced by that um, by that specific um, size? If I click that, it also updates the, the whole dashboard. And yeah, pretty much uh, that's it. Now we have some other products, um, you know, a top and um, the production by product group and. Yeah, it, it's very useful.